Candidate number three, Nellen Cananero Lanus. Nellen enjoys dancing and singing. She's been doing both since the age of four. And she's going to be wearing today the Dukso. It's a ceremonial dance among the Monobo people in Bukudnon, Agusan, and Masamis Oriental. The Dukso is usually performed during important occasions, like feasts or tribal gatherings. Other occasions that call for the performance of the Dukso are festivities connected to abundant harvest, the birth of a male heir, or victory in war. The Dukso for a Kaliga is usually performed on the third day, which is usually the merriest being the culmination of the whole celebrations for feasts. Nellen is wearing an imitation of a rooster skirting, a hen in a love play. She's wearing a colorful feathered headdress, striped costume, and anklet bells that signify performers that step rhythmically around a bamboo arch decorated with newly gathered rice stalks and corn. The movements, of course, emphasized by the tinkling of the bells from the anklets. The all-female dancers are headed by a head priestess who is responsible for keeping the fire burning. The smoke is said to carry their message of thanksgivings to their gods. It's also believed to carry prayers to the dwelling, intense devotion and love. The hand movement, called Kubai, is very careful and portrays femininity. Monobo men believe that these women dancers who can do the kubai gracefully are believed to be amicable and are not that hard to court. Senelo Selo is a playful portrayal of a woman's fickleness or indecisions. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number three, Nellen Cananero Lanus. And candidate number four, Medicar and Antonio. The Salitsid is a dance from the municipality of Tanudan, Southern Kalinga. It is performed after the rituals and ceremonies of the Kopia di Mongasawa, where the bride and the groom are asked to perform it also during the Badong or Puldon Peace Pact. All the members of the contracting tribes perform it as well. The dance involves very uh, wide displays of footwork while bouncing bangas on the head, also a lot of hip movement as well. The dance simulates the movement of a rooster at love play to attract a young hen. The alap is a woven kalinga cloth or wraparound skirt used by the bride and groom in performing the dance. It's offered during the dance and signifies the true affection of the suitor. As the man accepts the alap of the girl which is placed on top of his, he folds them together to signify their oneness and the man's responsibility to protect his new bride. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number four, Mary Carr and Antonio.
Costume. 